the women, all about sending a strong message today, wearing the color red, a reminder of uh, heart disease, not just a man's disease. February is American Heart Month. Carolina Morning's Lindsay Curtin live at the New Hanover Regional Medical Center this morning, telling us about the signs and symptoms that you'll want to be aware of. Lindsay, red on you, red in the back, red on everyone today, and that's what it's all supposed to be about. Yes, that is right, Bob. Sorry, my uh, my little earpiece got kind of fuzzy when you were toss tossing to me. But yes, red is so important today because heart disease is the number one killer of men and women. So the attention on the red is bringing attention on that fact. Heart disease is a big issue for women as well. And we're here with Claire Corbett. She is the Heart Attack and Stroke Programs Manager here at New Haven, New Haven Regional Medical Center. And we're talking about STEMI heart attacks. Those are the worst heart attacks. I wanted to ask you again, reiterate how important timing is when it comes to heart attacks. Okay. So when you're having a STEMI heart attack, it is the most severe type. And what happens is an artery that supplies the heart becomes blocked. Any heart tissue that usually supplies by that artery is at risk for, for dying, for tissue death. So the sooner we can actually get in there and open up that artery, the more heart tissue we can actually save. Respectfully, a, a lot of people's image of heart attack uh, possibilities, it's the overweight people, the inactive people, poor diet. But heart attacks, big heart attacks can happen to 30-year-old people who do triathlons, so on and so forth. So why is it so important to be honest with your doctor about family history? So heart attacks can happen from your 30s all the way up into your 90s, and there are risk factors that we can modify, smoking, exercise, diet, but there's also uh, risk factors that we can't modify, our family history and our genetics. So if you do have a, a risk, uh, if you do have family history of heart disease or heart attack, it's so important that you tell your doctor so that they can be screening for you because you may have a risk that uh, you're not really aware of. And the last thing is if you feel like you're having an issue with your heart, heart attacks, odd symptoms, um, it's important to call 911 rather than driving there because they can get the help process started basically from your living room if you call 911. That's right. If you think you're having a heart attack, don't wait. Remember, the more uh, time we waste, the more heart tissue that dies. Call 911. They can do an EKG, identify a STEMI from your living room, and actually activate our heart team so we're ready to treat you as soon as you arrive. Fantastic. I appreciate your time, Claire. Absolutely. Great information this morning. Hopefully, you know, that really convinces you to uh, take that extra step uh, to get help if you feel like you might need it in honor of National Heart Month. Resonate back to you in the studio.